Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of copper production. Join us as we explore various copper factories globally, showcasing their unique processes. Whether you want to learn about copper extraction or just enjoy the visuals, you're in for an informative treat. Copper billets are delivered to the plant as raw material for tube production. Billets are cut to size for extrusion. Copper billets are preheated in a gas-fired furnace to soften the material for the extrusion process. Extrusion process, 50 mega newtons extrusion press. The extruder is set up and tooling is prepared. Billet introduction, the billet is compressed, upset. Pressure is momentarily relieved to ensure smooth extrusion without material failure. The billet is pierced to create a hollow section, allowing for tube extrusion. The material is forced through the die to create the desired tube profile and dimensions. The extrusion continues until the billet is completely used. The rear end of the extrusion is sealed off to maintain tube integrity. Excess material at the back of the billet is sheared off, leaving the desired tube length. After extrusion, the tubes are further processed using a cold drawing process to improve surface finish, reduce diameter, and enhance mechanical properties. Cold drawing on a 30-ton drawing bench. The tube end is pointed to fit through the die. The plug is inserted into the tube to maintain internal dimensions during drawing. The pointed end is picked up by the drawing mechanism. The tube is drawn through the die and plug to reduce its diameter and wall thickness. The Kolb's drawing process using center blocks involves pulling copper tubes through a die and plug for dimensional refinement and surface improvement. The basket transport system efficiently moves copper tubes between production stages, ensuring organized handling and minimizing damage during transit. Tubes are coiled into 600 kg level wound coils LWC, for easy handling and transport. AGVs are used to move coils and other materials around the plant, ensuring smooth and efficient material handling. The coils or straight tubes undergo a final heat treatment in a furnace, with individual setups tailored for each application to achieve the desired material properties. The journey of copper tube production begins with the milling machine, a vital piece of equipment responsible for shaping and finishing copper billets into precise dimensions. This process involves removing excess material from the copper billets, creating a uniform thickness essential for the subsequent stages of production. The milling machines used in the factory are equipped with advanced CNC computer numerical control technology, which enhances precision and reduces human error. With the ability to operate at high speeds, these machines can efficiently produce high-quality copper tubes, meeting strict industry specifications. The integration of automation allows for real-time monitoring of production parameters, ensuring consistency and minimizing waste. The milling process not only shapes the material, but also prepares it for the rolling phase, 
setting the stage for the next critical step in copper tube manufacturing. Following milling, the copper billets undergo deformation in a planetary rolling mill, a specialized machine designed to produce thin wall tubes with optimal mechanical properties. The planetary rolling mill operates by rotating around a central axis, allowing multiple rolls to act on the copper simultaneously. This innovative design offers several advantages over traditional rolling mills. The planetary rolling mill ensures uniform deformation, resulting in better mechanical properties and surface quality. Once the copper tubes are rolled, they proceed to the next stage, where the two-carriage drawing machine takes center stage. This machine plays a crucial role in achieving the desired dimensions and mechanical properties of the finished product. The drawing process involves pulling the copper tubes through a die, which reduces their diameter while increasing their length. The two-carriage design enhances efficiency, allowing for continuous operation and minimizing downtime. Each carriage can operate independently, enabling the factory to process multiple tubes simultaneously. After the drawing process, the copper tubes undergo heat treatment in the sewiner block, a specialized furnace designed to enhance their mechanical properties further. Heat treatment is crucial in relieving internal stresses that may have developed during the drawing process. The sewiner block operates at controlled temperatures, ensuring that the copper is heated uniformly. This process not only improves ductility, but also enhances the overall durability of the tubes. By optimizing the heat treatment parameters, the factory can achieve specific mechanical properties tailored to customer requirements. Once the copper tubes are heat treated, they move to the double head level winder machine, which plays a critical role in the packaging and handling of the final product. This machine is designed to coil the copper tubes efficiently, ensuring that they are neatly wound and ready for storage or shipment. The double head design allows for simultaneous winding of two coils, significantly increasing production efficiency. The machine features advanced control systems that ensure consistent tension and alignment during the winding process, preventing damage to the copper tubes. Moreover, the level winding process helps maintain the integrity of the tubes, minimizing the risk of kinks or bends that could compromise their performance. By utilizing this technology, the factory ensures that the final product is delivered to customers in optimal condition, ready for immediate use. The final stage of production involves the straightening and cutting machine with a pancake coiler. This machine ensures that the copper tubes are straightened to precise specifications, eliminating any warping or irregularities that may have occurred during previous processing steps. The cutting mechanism allows for customization, enabling the factory to produce copper tubes in various lengths based on customer requirements. The integration of a pancake coiler facilitates efficient handling and storage of the finished product, reducing the space required for warehousing. By incorporating advanced technology in the straightening and cutting process, the factory can maintain high production standards while ensuring that each batch of copper tubes meets or exceeds customer expectations. The new copper tube factory in Malaysia represents a significant leap forward in manufacturing capabilities. By employing state-of-the-art machinery and technology at each stage of production, from milling to straightening, the facility is well-equipped to meet the growing demands of the market. This investment not only enhances the quality and efficiency of copper tube production, but also positions Malaysia as a competitive player in the global copper industry. As the factory ramps up operations, it promises to deliver high-quality copper tubes 
that meet the diverse needs of various industries, contributing to the overall growth and development of Malaysia's manufacturing sector. With a focus on innovation, sustainability, and quality, this facility is set to become a benchmark for excellence in copper tube manufacturing. Agrival Metalworks employs a comprehensive copper manufacturing process to produce high-quality copper and copper alloy products, including strips, sheets, coils, foils, and circles. The process begins with casting, utilizing both direct chill vertical casting technology from KME Italy and horizontal continuous casting lines from Technica Gus Germany. The vertical casting line from KME Italy is a specialized system used for casting high-purity copper, brass, and phosphorus bronze alloys. This direct chill vertical casting technology ensures superior metallurgical quality by rapidly cooling the molten metal, producing uniform, defect-free ingots ideal for further rolling and processing in high-performance applications. The horizontal casting line from Technica Gus, Germany, is a cutting-edge continuous casting system specifically designed for producing copper, brass, and phosphorus bronze alloys with superior metallurgical properties. This process involves continuously pouring molten metal into a water-cooled mold where it solidifies into a long, uniform strand. Technica's computerized casting technology ensures precise control of temperature, flow rate, and solidification, resulting in high-quality metal with excellent dimensional accuracy and uniform grain structure. The system enhances productivity by eliminating the need for multiple casting stages, reducing production costs, and minimizing material waste. Its horizontal design allows for efficient cooling and uninterrupted casting, ideal for large-scale industrial production. Additionally, this method ensures fewer impurities and defects, producing metal suitable for further processing like hot rolling, cold rolling, and annealing. The Ungerer Stretch Tension Leveler Line from Germany is an advanced system used for improving the flatness of metal strips. It applies controlled tension and stretching forces to correct surface imperfections, ensuring a highly precise and uniform flatness across the entire strip. This technology is essential for preparing metal strips for high-speed stamping, welding, and other precision manufacturing processes, guaranteeing optimal performance in demanding applications. The five-stand tandem Waterbury Ferrell Mill is a highly specialized cold rolling mill designed for processing copper and brass strips. It features five consecutive rolling stands that allow for efficient thickness reduction and precise shape control. This mill employs advanced automation for consistent quality, achieving tight tolerances and excellent surface finishes, crucial for high-performance applications. The process begins with the selection and preparation of raw materials, primarily copper scrap or cathodes, which are refined copper products. Once the raw materials are prepared, they are subjected to melting in a furnace. Different types of furnaces can be used, including induction, electric arc, or reverberatory furnaces. The melting temperature for copper is around 1,085 degrees Celsius, 1,985 degrees Fahrenheit. After the extrusion process, the newly formed copper rods enter the in-order spinner block phase. This equipment helps in rotating and cutting the extruded rods to specified lengths. The spinner block ensures that the rods are evenly distributed and organized for the next stage. By maintaining the rods in an orderly fashion, the spinner block facilitates efficient handling and minimizes the risk of damage during the transition to the pilger mill. In this process, the rods are drawn through a series of dies that further reduce their diameter while increasing their tensile strength. Cold drawing is essential for producing high-precision copper rods that meet specific dimensional tolerances. This process also improves the surface finish and mechanical properties of the rods. 
The Pilger Mill is a key component in the copper rod manufacturing line, primarily utilized for reducing the diameter of the extruded rods. In this process, the copper rods are passed through a series of rollers, which gradually reduce their diameter while increasing their length. Once the copper rods have been processed through the Pilger mill, they are fed into the straightening machine. This equipment is vital for eliminating any bends or warps that may have occurred during previous manufacturing stages. The straightening machine uses a combination of rollers and mechanical force to ensure that each rod is straightened to precise tolerances. Quality control is critical in copper rod manufacturing, and the eddy current testing step plays a significant role in this regard. This non-destructive testing method detects any defects or inconsistencies in the copper rods. Following eddy current testing, the rods undergo hydro pressure testing. This step is designed to ensure the integrity of the copper rods under pressure. In this process, the rods are subjected to high pressure water to check for leaks or weaknesses in the material. To relieve stresses induced during the rolling and drawing processes, the copper rods are subjected to annealing. Annealing involves heating the rods to a specific temperature, typically between 300 degrees Celsius and 600 degrees Celsius or 572 degrees Fahrenheit and 1112 degrees Fahrenheit for a defined period before cooling them down. This process enhances ductility and ensures that the rods are easier to work with in subsequent applications. After annealing, the copper rods may undergo surface treatments including pickling to remove oxide layers and other impurities, this step ensures that the rods have a clean and smooth surface, which is essential for applications such as electrical wiring and connectors. The process of making aluminum woks using the expendable mold casting method involves several key steps, ensuring the production of high-quality cookware. This technique begins with creating a pattern of the wok, usually made from a material like wax or plastic, which can be easily melted away. The pattern is then coated with a fine sand mixture, forming a mold around it. This sand mixture is often mixed with a binding agent to help it hold shape. Once the mold is prepared, the pattern is heated, causing it to melt and leaving a cavity in the sand that replicates the shape of the wok. After the pattern is removed, molten aluminum is poured into the mold. The temperature of the aluminum is typically around 700 degrees Celsius, 1300 degrees Fahrenheit, allowing it to flow smoothly and fill the intricate details of the mold. After the aluminum cools and solidifies, the mold is broken away, revealing the cast walk. This process allows for precise and complex designs, making it ideal for cookware that requires good thermal conductivity and durability. The woks are then subjected to finishing processes, such as grinding, polishing, and coating, to enhance their appearance and performance. Quality control is crucial throughout the process to ensure the final products meet safety and usability standards. The expendable mold casting method not only allows for efficient production, but also provides the versatility needed to create various sizes and styles of aluminum woks suitable for different cooking needs.